truth and that the truth is knowledge that I am blessed and blessed and blessed to have a love like this, like this, like this. Hi, I'm Linz from uh, LZ7. We are part of the global community. That means the decisions we make today have an impact somewhere else in the world and other people's decisions affect us. You may be able to get a great deal on some clothes in the high street, but if you knew the person who made your t-shirt was only paid 50p for the whole day's work, you might stop and think about it. What if that person can't afford to eat properly or send their children to school? What if the pesticides used to grow the cotton poisoned the farmer along with the animals on his farm? What if the fumes from some of the manufacturing processes contaminates all the air that the workers breathe? What if the pollution ultimately affects the air you breathe? There are ways of making cotton products that are better for the environment, but that costs more money, and are people prepared to pay for it? Retailers and manufacturers know the damage that can be caused by being associated with bad press about the integrity of their supply chain. They can now join one of many organisations making an effort to ensure that the factories are regularly and independently checked for issues like child labour, excessive working hours and poor pay. But can we trust them? Sustainability, global impact, pesticides, organic, fair trade. What do these words mean to you? Why are they important concepts? All the, all the, um, Batman words on it. You know, the ones that like this project will help you learn about them and over the next six sections will give you the knowledge to check out the facts for yourself. One of the biggest environmental issues facing the UK is waste. Britain produces 100 million tonnes of rubbish a year. In fact, one third of all the food we prepare is thrown away. What a waste! It may seem like we have a lot of spare land, but let's be honest. Who wants a smelly rubbish dump next to their house? I don't. It's not really reusable. It's not reusable. Plastic is one of the biggest culprits, as it takes so long to decay. I want you to find out how long does it take for a plastic bag to disintegrate. This is the website. 500 years. All right, 500 years. Not even I am 500 years old. In fact, when your children's 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 children are dead, that bag will still be around. The good news is that we're starting to change. In March 2008, the Daily Mail ran a campaign to ban plastic bags. Due to public demand, supermarkets have agreed to cut plastic bags by 50% by spring 2009. That amount of carrier bags could fill 60 Olympic-sized swimming pools. One cotton bag can replace 300 plastic bags in its lifetime and will naturally biodegrade when it's eventually thrown away. This is why we've asked you to look at cotton bags for your project. You could choose to make your own bag from organic cotton. If, if you were to go into a shop and someone said organic, what would you expect from it? Something that has been produced, um, not using harmful chemicals like pesticides. Pesticides or something like that, yeah. Um, it takes three years from the point that they stop using pesticides and harmful products, yeah, to actually be able to call themselves organic. Some organisations don't actually do that. Some people call themselves organic, but may only have done it for like a year. Well, that's that's not that, that's not the way that it goes. You don't have to use cotton for your project. Why not research other alternatives? One thing you could look at is jute, which is another natural product and is also biodegradable. If you've got plastic bags at home or you get given some when you're out shopping, 
Use them again or recycle them. When it comes to designing your product, take into account some of these environmental issues. Environmental matters are an important thing to consider as your actions have an impact on others. Market research is a method of collecting data which will make you more aware of how the people you hope to sell it to will react to the products or services. Good research can mean the difference between the success or failure of any new product. Have a look at what's already available, then identify your potential customers and find out what they want. Um, when you purchase a bag, do you care about the size of your bag? Um, if it's too big, I won't buy it. Think about the people you want to sell to. How old are they? Are they male or female? What do they do for a living? Another issue to consider is fair trade. What does fair trade mean to you? Ensuring that the workers or people in the countries are getting the right breaks and the are paid the right amounts. It's where those workers are paid the right price. OK, so if you have a fair trade banana, all right, the man who grew that banana was not ripped off. He was given the right amount of money. So that's fair trade. But then what does fairly traded mean? And what's the difference between the two? Fair trade is in like the brand is more like, it seems to be more official. And it seems sets to be, the guidelines and rules. Yeah, and yeah, but fairly traded could be like just anyone on the street just saying that's fair when it might not be, do you know what I mean? If a product has a fair trade logo, it means that there have been checks at every stage yeah. of the manufacturing process. They say the truth is told that you can grow. Walk with me, walk, walk with me. But if they don't know, then I don't know. Walk with me, walk with me. Market research can help you to find out about current trends and how any changes may impact your product. Is there demand for your product? And how much will people be willing to pay for it? What would you want your bags to be like? Long last. Where does your target customer shop? What kind of things do they already buy and wear? And who won't buy the product? All right, would you like to be seen in the centre of Withenshaw with that bag? No, it's a girly bag. It's a girly bag. Marketing companies like to ask questions like, if your product was a person, who would it be? This can help you visualise the character and the style of your design. Why would you consider buying organic cotton or using organic cotton in the production of your prototype? Producing uh, the organic cotton, they don't use any fertilisers. They take it from the ground sort of more naturally. Because um, the fertilisers are usually bad for the environment, you know, leave stuff in the air or whatever. It's going to be better for, better for the farmers and for any children that are in the fields. It's yes. probably also nicer for the farmers to make instead of having to leave in all yeah. the fertiliser like you said before. So it's nicer for them. Organic cotton is better for the environment and for the people that grow it. But why is it a better choice for you as a designer? Um, it helps the reputation of your business. Um, got a good ethos with the... especially with the environment. It's such a hot topic in the media. Showing uh, other companies and other people that there are businesses or manufacturers who are taking that step forward as well as being good for the environment and the people it's good for the businesses as well so my name is Lee Robinson I'm the managing director of unity and I just really feel that we are at the the very beginning of, of a very big agenda around sustainability around carbon and around uh, around green issues and that's going to be absolutely key going forward looking back I never knew I had a problem so I thought until I saw them, but in the anger, and so I thought they're accusing.